Hello all and welcome to Science again. Today we're going to start looking at um, food chains and food webs for when we start uh, getting into ecosystems. Um, as you can see on the picture behind me, this is taken from um, the Tomorrow When the War Began film that um, could have been used in English. And as you can see, we've got someone on the ground there with a snake uh, ready to strike, a uh, red belly uh, black snake there ready to strike. Um, I'll just get rid of that and we'll start talking about uh, food chains and food webs and the differences between the two. Alright, a food, a food chain is a linear network of links in a food web starting from producer organisms and ending at apex predator species. And the snake that we saw there, even though it's giving um, giving that person trouble is not the apex predator um, inside uh, the ecosystem that we see in that movie. Um, what I will do is actually bring up something and I'll show you an image of a food chain in a second. All right. Um, food webs. Food webs are a concept um, that all predator-prey interactions, sorry, I'm swap sides, all predator-prey interactions in a community are interrelated and are sometimes drawn in a web-like image. And again, I'll show you an image of those in a second. So the difference, with the initial difference between a food chain and a food web, a chain can be drawn in that straight linear line, um, being a chain, and a food web um, is like the spider's web. There's many different connections. Um, and a food chain is one line of from a primary com, uh, consumer being um, sorry from a producer being grass or plants all the way through to the predator whereas a food web um, will have um, the uh, producer and then it may have a number of um, different bring that down now will have a number of different um, interactions within it. So there'll be more than, so if we're looking at the food chain now, uh, we've got the producer, um, which is the grass in this instance, um, and a producer is just something that can make its own food, basically. So uh, producer is that, uh, grass is that, sorry. Um, primary consumer is our grasshopper. We go into a secondary consumer being the frog. Um, and then we have our snake, which is a tertiary consumer. Um, we have our hawk in this uh, instance, which is our final consumer, or to be um, our predator in this instance, our apex predator. And then we have fungi, which are a decomposer. So once any of these have uh, died, the fungi will actually decompose those things and um, bring it back to its uh, back to its normal uh, back to its um, elements that it all was made out of. Um, so if we move on from having a look at this and we'll uh, then have a look at a food web. So the food web's a little bit different. You can see we've still got our grass here. We've got the grasshopper. Uh, we've got a rabbit and a mouse that, you know, are basically those, um, those primary consumers. So we've got three lots of primary consumers here. Um, so the mouse will eat um, grass or plant matter. The rabbit will eat grass and the grasshopper will feed on the grass as well. Then we have our, our next line where we've got our lizard um, and we've got the snake that are on the around about the same level. So that lizard will eat the grasshopper, um, the snake will eat the mouse, um, uh, a snake, oh, listen, probably wouldn't go after a rabbit but could. Um, and then we've, again we've got our apex predator that ties it all together which is our hawk. Now our hawk will go after all three of these. It'll go after the snake, the rabbit and the lizard. So the food chain is very, very linear. It tells the story of, you know, if we were to take a food chain out of this one, it would be the grass to the rabbit to the hawk. Or it would be the grass to the grasshopper to the lizard to the hawk. All right? Whereas the food web is telling the story of how everything interacts um, together. Um, that, you know, the snake may eat the mouse, the hawk may eat the snake, but the hawk might just eat the mouse by itself. So all of those interactions. Um, so just getting back onto uh, the movie that uh, that we had a look at and that black snake and going um, having a look at what else might fill the snakes um, snakes niche I suppose in that in that environment 
Um, I just want you to go together with your groups and come up with two or three different food chains that you might witness um, in that area. So, um, you know, in that area, we there's a pond there. So uh, we've got plants, we've got grass. What might live in the pond? We've got the frogs. What else, you know? Uh, have one, a couple of different food chains all the way through to the hawk being our apex predator. See what else you can put in along that food chain. Um, two or three of those food chains would be great. It's always going to end with the hawk, all right? Or in our uh, in our case, maybe a wedge tail eagle. Um, it's always going to start with grass or some sort of plant matter. Um, then what I'd like you to do is put all of those food chains together in a food web. Um, so you may have grasshopper, but you know, what else eats grass? Um, we've got the mouse, but there are many different types of bugs that will... There's many different types of bugs that will actually eat that... Um, many different types of bugs that will eat that um, grass, so you could start off with a different um, bug. Um, some frogs, you know, frogs eat some bugs but they don't eat others, mice may eat some things, you've got not just mice but there are plenty of, um, there are plenty of Australian marsupials that will fill a niche of the mouse. Um, and then, you know, what else fills that spot of the snake? We know of one thing, the lizard may actually fill that little bit of the, the snake. Um, you know, lizards, big enough lizards, uh, you know, will eat those frogs um, and eat other things. So your, your task, should you choose to accept it, is to come up with three different food chains and then put those together as a food web. Um, and then we'll get together as a class and we'll uh, discuss your ideas at the end of the class. All right, get started. Thank you. Bye.